During World War II, the German heavy tank and medium tank have always been the focus of attention for the Allies. In order to better combat these tanks, various countries actively researched tactics and weapon equipment. The British QF 17-pounder gun has proven to be a very effective anti-tank artillery. However, the weight of this gun, nearly three tons, exceeded the towing capacity of ordinary trucks. The British used Morris trucks to tow it, but they still had some shortcomings in off-road capabilities. In order to better tow this gun, the British turned their attention to the Crusader cruiser tank. This tank performed reasonably well in the North African battlefield, especially after solving reliability issues. However, due to the limitations of the Crusader's structure, it had limited upgrade potential and was soon replaced by the M4 Sherman series. As the Crusader cruiser tank gradually phased out of frontline service, the British began to develop some modified vehicles based on its chassis, such as self-propelled anti-aircraft guns and a gun trailer specifically designed for the QF 17-pounder gun. In fact, this Crusader-style gun trailer is not very complicated. The chassis, power, and transmission systems remain unchanged, with modifications made to the superstructure. The original turret of the tank was removed, and 14 mm thick armor plates were installed on the front and sides of the vehicle's deck to withstand light weapons and shell fragments. The driver remained in the original position, and there were two observation windows on the front armor plate. The crew compartment was able to accommodate five to six gunners and store some ammunition. The rear engine compartment could also store some items, and a towing attachment was installed at the rear of the vehicle. The modified Crusader gun trailer weighed 19 tons, with a length of 5.23 meters, a width of 2.46 meters, and a height of 2.51 meters. Since it did not have a turret or other structures, the vehicle was lighter, and the Crusader cruiser tank, which had its speed limiter removed, could reach speeds of 60 kilometers per hour. After being converted into a trailer, the vehicle could run even faster, reportedly reaching speeds of 80 kilometers per hour, and was sometimes used as a temporary command or reconnaissance vehicle. These gun trailers participated in the Normandy landing, with some of them being temporarily reinforced to prevent damage from seawater when landing from landing craft. Others that were planned to be unloaded from the dock did not need such reinforcement. Most of the Crusader gun trailers were used in the Western European theater during the later stages of World War II. At this point, the British Army's urgent need for towing 17-pounder guns had diminished as the availability of equipment such as the Firefly and Comet cruiser tanks increased and the Allies gained air superiority. The development of equipment such as the Century and Medium tank was also in progress. Towed anti-tank guns were beginning to show signs of decline, and tanks were becoming the best anti-tank weapons. As for towing field guns, it would be better to develop self-propelled artillery.